This drill series mixtape you're checking out right here, I'm going to be working on combinations using the in and out dribble and also the windshield dribble. So I'm going to be doing some driving moves and also some shooting moves. Shooting moves where I'm creating space off the dribble, try to get my defender to back up or using step backs, crossovers to create space for myself. And the driving moves, I want to get past my defender, get to the basket and finish in whatever way I need to finish, going left and also going right. So the drill series mixtapes, you can check all of them out in the full playlist on my channel. Go to the playlist, you can just look up full workouts. You'll see all the full workouts I put out there, both on the court and off the court. Every drill you see in this video will be covered not only in this video, but also in individual videos, breaking down each move individually, going left and going right. So you don't have to worry about saving the whole thing. If you only want one move, you'll see that move individually. You can also look at my channel. You can see that I've broken down playlists into moves. So windshield dribble moves, in and out moves, jump stop moves, crossover moves, stutter step moves, ball handling, post moves, etc., etc. It's all covered. Make sure you hit that thumbs up to like this video. Any questions you got, you can leave them for me down there in the comments. That's just about it. Hoophandbook.com has all your workout needs. My channel has every skill of the game covered in terms of drills, tutorials, and explanations from the mental game to the post game to the ball handling to the actual one-on-one -on -one games to the 5 on 5 games, pro games, pickup games. is all there. Work on your game. DreAllDay.com. This drill, I'm going to use these cones quick with the in and out, pound dribble through the legs as I go in between the cones, a little shuffle step there, then a pull up for the jump shot. Me personally, I don't use cones much, I think. Somebody left these in the gym and I came in this day, so I just grabbed them and used them real quick. This is a quick example. The cones don't move, they don't reach, they don't play defense, they don't jump, and I can't grab rebounds or block a shot. So anything you can do with cones, you can just imagine that space in your mind as an actual person playing defense since cones don't move anyway, just like a chair. This drum starting with the left hand, in and out dribble. I'm going to go through the legs as I go in between the cones and pull up for a jump shot right off of that through the legs dribble. So I'm going in between the cones, which would be my defenders there. Dribble through the legs, a little shuffle step as I go in between those two cones and pull up for the jump shot right there on the spot. This time as I approach the first cone, I'm going to come with an in and out, a crossover, and then crossover again, but a behind the back dribble as my crossover there. So I'm crossing over from one side of the body to the other. That's what a crossover dribble is. But instead of crossing over in front of my body, I'm going behind my back. So the in and out cross there, behind my back as I get in between and pull up for the jump shot right there. Doing this move starting in the left now. In and out, crossover, go behind the back as I go in between the cones and right off the catch of that behind the back dribble, I'm pulling right up for my jump shot. So it's important when you want to be able to shoot jump shots off the dribble, the important thing is being able to come out of your move and go right into your shot. The smoother you can get from doing your dribble move to actually taking the shot, the easier it is, easier it will be for you to create shots off the dribble from the outside. In this drill, pay attention to how quickly I set my feet. Once I do the pound dribble and through the legs, I quickly get my feet in position to go up for the jump shot and go straight up. So there's no gathering, there's no hesitation, there's no pause. I pound dribble through the legs and quickly set my feet. 
get right there and get that jump shot off. This is a situation where you want to get a shot off quick, and if you're a good shooter, this is a shot you should be able to make, especially from the mid-range area if you created some space from your defender to give you space based on your ability to create off the dribble. So set your feet quickly and get right up for your shot. When I do this move, I'm going to start with the pound dribble. When I go through the legs, I'm going to lean a little to the right and then hop a little bit back towards my left hand side. So when I go through the legs to the right, I want to get the defense leaning to that right towards my right side, but I'm going to hop back a little bit to the left. So that creates a little bit of space there if you put them together. The lean to the right, the hop to the left, rise up and knock down the jump shot. this play I'm gonna give you a slight pause the pound dribble through the legs little hesitation go behind the back and then shoot the jump shot Just notice that I'm staying flat on my behind the back dribble by flat what I mean is that when I dribble the ball behind my back I'm not leaning forward and I'm not leaning backwards I'm keeping my feet parallel to each other with my toes to be parallel to the baseline and parallel to the defender as I go behind my back so my whole body is in front of the ball it's not leaning in any one direction so when I go behind the back my body is protecting the ball and I rise up and shoot from there. Starting with the ball in my left hand now. Pound dribble through the legs, behind the back, then rise up for the shot. Notice that I want to keep my feet wide when I do that behind the back so that I'm protecting the ball with my body. So if a defender is reaching, all he's going to get is a piece of my body when, I, when he reaches for that ball because my body is protecting the ball through its entire path from the right side of my hip to the left side of my hip and I go right up for the shot from there. It's a simple move on coming in, windshield wiper dribble, inside then outside, two bounces, a gather bounce, and then right to the rim for the finish. So the windshield wiper dribble is just a dribble towards the inside, interrupt it with that same hand and bring it right back to the outside, and then I'm driving in and finishing. This time I'm using the windshield wiper with the left hand. In, out. I use two dribbles this time because I'm gathering to go up off two feet. Sometimes if I go off two going towards that side, then I'll take an extra gather dribble. And sometimes I just take one and go off my left foot finish with the left hand. I got a tutorial on that if you look it up. Now I'm using the windshield wiper dribble, in dribble, out dribble, and going right up to a jump shot. As I talk about often, you want to be able to get your shot off quickly off of a dribble move. If you're an outside shooter, you want to be able to be doing your outside move and be able to go right from doing that dribble move to going into a shot smoothly without having to do any gather or any pause. You want it to be smooth so you can get your shot off clean and then make the shot. Starting with the ball in my left hand this time, a windshield wiper dribble. In bounce, out bounce, rise up, and knock down my jump shot. Want to be able to go smoothly, as I said in the first part of this drill off the right hand. You want to be able to go smoothly from either hand off a dribbling move into a jump shot if you're a person that wants to be able to create your own shot from the outside. You got to be smooth with it. Pay attention on, the, on this move, how I set my feet. Windshield, through the legs, and I quickly set my feet to go up for that shot. Don't take time to gather. Don't waste any time and, no, and don't waste any movement. You want to be able to get the shot off quick as I'm moving towards the defender. I'm not going to have that much time or space to take my time to get the shot off from a mid-range area. Maybe from a further area, a three-point shot, maybe. But in the mid-range area, you're not going to have a lot of time. you got to get that shot off and knock it down.
This time coming from the left side, windshield dribble through the legs and quickly up for a jump shot. Remember, you want to set your feet quick, so figure out. You got to go through the through the efforts of practicing and figuring out how do I need to set my feet? How do I need to do this move and do these dribbles in a way that I can go smoothly into my shot? No two players are going to play exactly the same, so you got to figure out what works for you, and you only figure that out through the time and effort you put into practice. It's time to take a combination windshield dribble, through the legs dribble, behind the back dribble to a jump shot. It's a simple combination. I'm just taking three dribbles that I already know how to do, that you already know how to do. If you don't, check out the ball handling, hoop handbook, or DVD. Windshield, through the legs, behind the back. Just put them together in a combination. Of course, you know how to shoot a jump shot. Put that all together, make it quick, make it smooth, and of course, make the shot. Coming in from the left side, windshield dribble through the legs behind the back and go straight up for that shot there. Most important part of that, again, is setting your feet, getting your feet set quickly when you come off that dribble. So you come off that behind the back dribble, you got to go smoothly into your shot. Figure out where your shot pocket is. That's the area where you get the ball, gather it straight up to your shot smoothly that works best for you. That's what we call the shot pocket. Find how to get that ball to your shot pocket off the dribble and not down the shot. This time coming with the windshield dribble. Little hesitation. See how I shuffle my feet a little bit. A little stutter with my feet. Get to keep the defense guessing. I'm going with an in and out dribble before I go out for a pull up jump shot. So let's take a look at that one more time. Windshield. Little hesitation. Watch how I shuffle my feet. Stutter my feet. To keep the defense guessing. Don't let them relax. You might relax, but you don't want to let them relax. Go to the in and out and pull up. Ball on my left hand now. Windshield dribble. Hesitation, a little stutter with the feet, in and out, and pulling up for the jump shot. Get smooth with off both hands, creating your move off the dribble and going up smoothly and calmly for your jump shot and being able to make it. Only comes with practice. So windshield dribble this time, in and out, crossover, and going in for the jump shot. Pay attention to and work on your footwork when you're doing this move. You want to be able to come off of that crossover once you're coming out of that cross and being able to go straight up into a shot without having to take an extra bounce. That'll save you time and it might make the difference between you getting off a clean look and having a hand in your face or a blocked shot or somebody contesting your shot and making it tougher for you to make. Starting in my left hand, windshield wiper dribble, in and out, crossover, and straight into the jumper. So pay attention to my feet when I do the crossover off the in and out cross. When I'm going into that cross, I'm getting both of my feet up off the floor. So it's a hop from the left side to the right side. It's not a step, it's a hop. See how I hop with both feet really quickly, get them down. When I land, my feet are already set. So once I land, I'm already in the position I want my feet to be in for my jump shot. So there's no extra time or extra movement necessary. I can go right up for the jump shot. Now with the windshield wiper dribble in the right hand, I'm going windshield and a two-step cross through the legs and hard right back in front of me and pulling up for the jumper. 
Again, important, I stress that once you come off of that crossover, the two-step cross, go right into your shot without having to take an extra bounce is invaluable. It'll save you time, and it, that split second is the difference between a clean look and a not clean look, depending on the defense you're playing against. Coming on the left hand, windshield wiper, through the legs and in front, two-step crossover. You can check the tutorial on that on YouTube. Watch how I set my feet as I come out of that crossover from right to left. You see I'm taking a little hop step with my feet. So I cross, that little hop there. You see my right foot almost crosses in front of my left foot as I go into that hop. And once I land, my feet are already set. And wherever they are, once I come off it, I'm going up for my shot. Might not be perfect every time, but you get the more practice you get in, the easier it is for you to knock down these shots, even if it's not exactly as you want it every single time, because you know in the game it's never going to be exactly as you practice. An advanced move here. One shield dribble, one hand under, same leg, going right up for the shot. Important thing with the one hand under is you want to get a strong enough bounce on that. On this move here, my bounce was kind of low, so I had to kind of reach for the ball down there. You want to make sure your bounce is high enough that it gets up to your hip, but at the same time, you have to make sure it's not too high as exposing the ball to the defense, which is why this is a tough move. But the more you practice it, the better you'll get at figuring out what works, what doesn't work as far as getting your shot off. Because you know every game situation is always fluid and is always different. One shield dribble now off the left hand, the one hand under dribble, and then I'm going right up for the shot. The toughest part about this move is catching the ball off that one hand under and going right into a shot smoothly. So you watch my left hand here as I do the one hand under. I'm waiting for that ball there, and once it gets there, I have my palm turned towards the basket so I can bring that ball around to my other hand, my right hand, going up for the shot. It's a tough move, but if you practice, you'll get it. This is Darshawn Johnson from Jacksonville, Florida, working again.